Hello again. So I am back at LBJ, uh, getting a few more shots for a uh, nighttime time lapse I've been working on. Uh, I've been coming out every time there's a full moon and uh, just shooting a few scenes like that and I'm putting together a compilation and I just need one or two more. So that's why I'm out here uh, right now. And it is never not creepy walking around in the woods at 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, it just never gets old. So kind of going back to my roots personally, um, the astro landscape stuff is what really got me uh, obsessed with photography. I remember uh, being in my parents' backyard, just messing with my camera, doing some nighttime shots, and decided to point it up at the sky and did a, just a quick 10 second exposure of the open sky, open night sky. And uh, when I looked at that picture, I was just blown away. It had, uh, it showed, it was just a field of stars, but you could see oranges and blues and reds and yellows and whites and all these colors in the night sky and when you look at it you look at it with your bare eyes and you just look up at the sky you don't see it but when you expose your camera for that long it picks up all these details that your eyes just can't process and I thought that was so cool and was just obsessed with it ever since then uh, after that, I remember going to Oregon to see a buddy of mine, Shane, and, uh, whoa, I just found, I think, what I'm going to be shooting tonight, anyway, um, yeah, in Oregon, and I did my first, like, legitimate Polaris, uh, Star Trails shot, and yeah, that, that was all I did for about the next year for these astro, uh, astro landscapes, so much so that I had to get away from it. I had to broaden my skills, but it's always fun coming back to that stuff. So I think I found a spot here. Oh man, this could be really nice. I'm gonna set up right now and uh, show you what I'm talking about here. One second. All right, so yeah, as you, might have heard in the video just now I was walking by and yeah there's this this sliver of a stream just running through uh, this wooded area and the Sun is rising right over top of it it's such a perfect scene and it's so bright tonight it's so bright it it reflected off of that off of that little stream and right into my eyes up here on this hill so it's just asking for it so I'm gonna set up my composition here and uh, we're going to end up doing a uh, time lapse of this to add to my um, my little collection I've got going. Uh, let's see here. Two seconds. There we go. All right, let me get a quick test shot of this. Make sure where everything is uh, as should be. I'm doing a 10-second exposure. Uh, my aperture is uh, about 3.5 and uh, ISO at 800. Yeah, I think that'll work. So, all right. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna do a, a series of about 300 shots of this, this same scene right here. And what I'll do is I'll take those images and I'll throw them into a, a computer program that will uh, line them up and play them back at about 24 frames a second. So every second you'll get 24 images going by the screen and that's how you get that that hyper motion of the scene you're shooting. So um, yeah, let me finish up setting here and uh, I'll show you what that looks like.
So if you didn't notice before, it is quite cold out here. I'm in Texas, but we got three hours of snow this morning. Came back to my camera and yeah, it is frosted over. Let me see how the lens is doing. All right, lens is still clear. What can happen? If I didn't have this, uh, um, that thing wrapped around, that's a lens warmer hooked up to a battery there that keeps your lens nice and warm so it doesn't frost over or fog so that worked out really well but man it's a cold night but uh, I think this footage turned out pretty good um yeah come on auto or manual come on focus up I think it's focused anyway Oh, I can't see. This light is way broader, brighter than I thought it would be. That's why I'm not looking at you right now. I just can't look into that that light, but I'm glad it's working. Um, so anyway, yeah. Packing up, heading back to the car. I'm going to go back and process this footage. Kind of a quick one today. Not a lot of commentary. Lot, not a lot of scenery on the vlog portion. Not a whole lot I can show you with it being so dark, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the process of setting up a time lapse at night. Normally, it's best you get out here early while the sun's still up and set up while you have light and get your composition and everything ready and then come back and just turn your camera on and start shooting. But yeah, I just didn't have the chance to do that today. So it's a bit of a creepy adventure in the middle of... Uh, LBJ and the freezing cold and nobody around, but I don't know. I said before how it's always creepy, but it does get better um, as far as freaking yourself out. Just don't think about weird stuff when you're out here. Shining my light around, just looking for glowing eyeballs looking back at me nothing yet so all right well again like always i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did please uh consider subscribing that always helps the channel if you haven't yet and uh hit that thumbs up button right below this just trying to grow this thing a little bit more and all that stuff really helps out if you like this content um, i plan to keep them coming it's uh, still January of 2020, and I plan to do this rest of the year. It's really fun. I enjoy it. 
just uh, sharing that process and creating the videos themselves. So uh, plenty more to come and so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the car, warm up. And until next time.